Hello people, and welcome back to part 34 of the Noob's Guide to City Skylines. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for all the support across the plazas and promenades live stream where we pedestrianised a huge chunk of Noob Yoke's downtown. Uh, this turned out really nicely. This is such a great DLC, and I hope you're all enjoying it. If you want to go check out this being built, please do go ahead and have a look at the stream VOD, uh, which is on the channel, and I'll leave it linked at the end of the video as well. But plenty of ideas in here as to how you guys can start getting a little bit more creative with your plaza areas. And so many designs, so much fun to be had. <laughs> really, really fun expansion, having a ton of fun with it, and I hope you all are as well. And in today's episode, we are going to continue the pedestrianization of New Bioke by working on a pedestrian beachfront build, which is really fun. Uh, beachfronts in the vanilla game are notoriously difficult due to the lack of beach-themed props and buildings, but I think there's something really good that can be done with these pedestrian roads. So, we're going to be playing with some layers of height today, some terraforming indeed, some uh, nightlife down here as well, alongside some of the new unique buildings. So, let's see what we can do with a pedestrianised beachfront in Vanilla City Skyline, shall we? Okay, so this area was left over from when we did our How to Work with the Vanilla Beachfront in City Skylines episode. And it's a bit of a weird space, we're sandwiched between this area here, which I'm happy to have. I'm going to pedestrianise all the actual roads. I'm going to leave all this space nice and natural because I do like the vibes uh, over on this side of Noob's Guide Beach but this side over here is very much able to be pedestrianized and we're going to start by doing that so I think we're going to place in a large pedestrian area service point now this one's a little bit of a chungus so I'm wondering if it actually might be better to combine a cargo service point and then a small uh, ped service point if indeed we can find a place for them to lie so why don't we just amend some of the pathwork here There'll be lots of new details to be done today as well. Cool. So we get them in, let's bring them over, and then we're just going to generally paint out the general size of the area that we want. It will, of course, shift and change as the build develops, but it will at least allow us to start producing some pedestrian roads. So again, I think we're going to sit with sandstone. It's going to work nicely on the beach, isn't it? Uh, but before we actually do that, we need to do some terrain work. So, super unfriendly on the beach, which is fine. It's usually expected in the vanilla base game maps anyway, uh, like Diamond Coast is. But I do just want to flatten out a little uh, layer so we can easily play with some of the new assets a little bit easier. I'm also going to do some layers of height in the build here today too. Which of course is going to be tremendously exciting. So, let's grab this contour line and then we're going to bring this right down up this side. So, a little bit of soil as well. And then I'd like to make a little bit of a water feature, actually, um, out of the land here, or the beach. So, I'm just going to chisel in a little, little road. Well, not a road, is it? It's a, I don't know, a little lake, a little gully, a little stream, I guess is the word I'm looking for here, I think. Something along those sorts of lines. Widen it out a little bit here as well, make it seem a little bit more natural. Alright, and then we'll slope up all this stuff here, so it doesn't look too weird. So, we'll let that water resettle. In the meantime, I'd like now to start using uh, some pedestrian road frames in order to sort of piece together exactly how this build is going to sit and look. So we do have a road guideline snap on, so once we've got this main one in, I can use that as a sort of a baseline to then establish where exactly uh, this new stuff is going to sit. This fence is giving me a road guideline I don't want to snap to. Yeah, so I want to snap to about there, I think. Yeah, that's what we're after. So bring this out, and then what I'm looking to do is sort of frame this little stream here. And then we'll bring that road down there, and then that can just connect into the dirt road. Which will probably become pedestrian road, we'll worry about this area in a second. Tremendous. So let's configure a way in and out of the pedestrian area. Um, or at least down to this bottom tier, back up to the top one. I think, again, there's some nice ideas that can be had uh, with layers of height, as always. So bring that one down there, that's absolutely fine. Then what I'd like to do is almost bring up this one as a frame. And the distance here is 680. How many units is that? So this is 17 units here. So we can get to 340. That's 360. 320. Okay, it's going to be about there then, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we can make this pretty much halfway, actually. Let's just bring this one further node along. And that should do what we want it to then. That one's terraforming, of course, but... It was a halfway point, okay, we just know we've got six tiles uh, either side of the uh, junction. Should give us a nice centralization point. Cool, and then this will just come all the way up now. We can probably snap a road guideline 
as we hit this one, let that come in. And then what I want to do here is again coming off the guideline. I like to bring in some initial frames and connect everyone up to the top. And then to see uh, what might happen with the possibility of a bridge here. So again, we'll try it together. And let's come into our pedestrian roads where we can control the height. You can't do it in the plazas and promenades menu. And make sure you come into roads and then ped roads and then you can change the height here as you can with the rest of your roads. Uh, and then let's come up by three elevation steps. We'll cross over and then just double check that distance there is 620. So we can easily replicate that. Going back down here. And now that's going to give us a really interesting looking pedestrian road configuration, isn't it? Having a little layer here. Get some zoning around here as well, of course. It should be quite fun. <laughs> it should be should be really fun, actually. Very, very much looking forward to it. Okay. So let's have a look at some specializations. Um, I think we're going to give this one leisure. Just so we can get the nightlife buildings down here. So let's just start zoning up a little bit of commercial. Start letting some things grow in and seeing how we feel about the build overall. Uh, likewise down here as well on the waterfront. I'd also uh, like to see some buildings start appearing. Although let's actually sort this one out first of all though. Make sure that we actually terraform like we want to. I'm also going to remove this vanilla plaza as well. And then we'll start placing in some actual plazas and promenade stuff. Why don't we go for an ice cream parlor? Seems appropriate for the beach, doesn't it? And then we'll have a little food truck plaza. And then we'll use that as an excuse to wrap the buildings together. Which should be quite tasteful, I think. And I think I'm actually going to bring up this road connection here again to bring it in with the main frames. But ages ago, to create the tram crossing here, we did a dirt road. Which we don't need anymore. Of course, we can just cancel that out. Let's do a little bit of slope. So it's not horrendous as we come up to the top. And then I think just a connection into the tram road there is going to create the pedestrian crossing again. And we now have direct tram access into the walkable beachfront. Which is a very cool aesthetic, isn't it? Very cool. <laughs> huge. Huge fan of that. Huge fan of that, everyone. Cool. We can even, it's even going to tie in now to the pedestrian area in the downtown which I'm just so happy with <laughs> so happy super busy metro station here too oh yes I could get distracted here for hours everyone we all know how much I love walkability and <laughs> just seeing this is just the best so good and of course it extends further into the downtown there as well anyway little uh, stream vod promotion please go check it out if you want to see it being built fun little stream However, things are growing and developing here actually quite nicely. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so it's growing up. Get some stuff coming down here too as well, hopefully. And so I'd also like to bring in uh, some more layers of height as well, I guess. So I think what we're going to do is come back to the road menu. And then with a road guideline snap here, with no grid snapping, I'd like to see uh, what we are there. So that's going to be... Possibly a two-step elevation, but we want to do this on a curve tool as well. Is that going to be too much? Looks like it could be, and then we can bring it down there. That second little layer does give us a slightly more acceptable curve. It's a little bit steep, but I think I can bear with it. Okay. And then once we've got all these in, uh, I think I'm going to remove this little bit of zone in here. It's no longer uh, required. This is going to make a really nice opportunity for some uh, larger rock asset detailing, which we uh, tend to not get too much involved with in vanilla. Um, but I think just leaving some older rock formations here, like the pedestrian area has been built around, you know, what was at one point the natural beachfront, very much like uh, this side of it over here. It was all sort of natural, overgrown, lots of rocks and sort of rock pools everywhere. You know, it was once upon a time like this, but it's now since been developed and turned into a pedestrian beach and there's still remnants of that old sort of overgrown mangrove tropical beachfront uh, knocking around if you like okay you can be a little bit creative with it so yeah piece them together obviously nothing too big i think probably the cliff faces might be a little bit too much yes they are so we'll stick to our smaller formations maybe just some decals would be welcome too doesn't always have to be a major rock Okay, a little bit something like that. And then perhaps some uh, delicate uh, doses of uh, the Noob's Guide Forest to actually sit around them. Should give us 
Slightly more interesting looking beachfront now, shouldn't it? I don't think that's the most horrendous thing we've ever seen. Relatively on board with it. Now we do have the roads in. Or the pedestrian roads, rather. Um, I'd actually like to delete that rock I just placed. And I do a little bit of terraforming, again. So let's just push all this beachfront up. And I think we're going to do some keys here as well. So we're going to do walkable seawall keys, which are... Granted, a little bit pointless because it's all against walking pathways, but it's going to be an aesthetic we can all appreciate. So I think we go for simple seawall, and this should just be a simple road guideline snap to get these configured. We shouldn't have too many uh, issues here, hopefully. There we go, there's one of them. And then we'll hopefully be able to bring this one up. Let's come off the road guideline snap too. That can mess with us, and that will eventually snap, hopefully. And then hopefully a little curve here uh, should do us the trick. If not, we need to curve ever slightly sooner. Okay, so there we go. It's a difficult one with vanilla keys, isn't it? But <laughs> we, we can make it work. For the majority of the time, anyway. So it drives me slowly but surely insane. Um, and then I think some uh, date palm action, when they're not dead at least, once the water sort of finds its feet again. Uh, it should give us a really nice aesthetic. So now we can enjoy, for the first time, uh, some keys and walkable roads together. So I'm not sure whether I'm calling these paths or roads. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to confuse me every time. But it works, alright? Yeah, let's throw down some more plazas over here as well. And get some more people visiting this area. How about a large food truck plaza to sit in this space? It's a little bit awkward as it goes uphill, isn't it? We might have to reconfigure that, but we'll not tab that there, actually, because it looks horrendous, doesn't it? Let's, let's rethink that egg. Um, yeah, let's have some buildings either side. Cool, lots of decoration during our detail and time lots to be done here as well. Otherwise, quite sensible, isn't it? It's quite sensible. Uh, there's certainly some room for uh, plaza designs in this space too. Uh, for which I'm thinking we will do some large fountain spices. So, so we can see now, just as things are starting to develop here, that this terraform land here just needs to be ever so slightly amended. So what we will do is grab the height that we're happy with here. Where we come up on this slope, which is nice and sensible. This is what we want to happen every single time. So we're just going to delete any road that encroaches upon that contour line. Maybe even come a little bit bigger here as well. There we go. And then we're just going to grab a slope for each of them. And then just slope them up to that height. And then this one should hopefully now just hide a little bit of that brown nastiness that appears, stuff like that, okay? A little bit more palatable for us, isn't it? So we'll have that in there. Don't we have some new service buildings over here as well. Uh, why don't we go for new fire stations a little big. Uh, we can certainly get away with the police headquarters, though. Uh, definitely down by the beachfront. I'd rather have this in some of the more built-up areas, though. It's going to be kind of a cute amalgamation of rural and sort of built-up concrete areas, this build. So we'll have to be careful with what goes where, but I think I can get away with the police station there. Help police it a little bit more. And we can possibly try out some of the large ice cream ice cream things now. But it does do it does give us this. It can be hidden with detailing, which I think we will do. So why don't we have another one? Maybe here. Okay, it's a difficult one on a slope, isn't it? But we'll we'll come up with something. Uh, and then over here, what I would like to do again is just to uh, perhaps introduce uh, another little layer that's going to hug uh, up this side into this gully. We are going to be encroaching a little bit more uh, upon the airport area, but we'll see what sort of pans out with it anyway. So we'll use a curve tool. Let's go for one more curve than that, maybe one more shallower. There we go. Let's keep this going up. Then we'll just have it run parallel and then it can connect in here. It's going to be a little bit more interconnectivity. It also provides some very cute um, sort of airport viewing opportunities. Of course, it has to be terraformed. We might have to move that hangar back a little bit because everyone's luggage is going to slide down onto the beach. <laughs> Which, of course, would not be good. All right. Cool. Well, so far, it's piecing together. And look at that. <laughs> that is a very... Very interesting looking beach one, isn't it? Very interesting. Quite happy with it, has to be said. Um, I don't think I'd be totally against the inclusion of some, like, beach condos, right? A little bit of condominium spice, if we dare. 
So I'm going to chuck on the commercial, uh, the water wall, uh, residential specialization, sorry. Then what I'd like to have happen uh, is to... Actually, I've just noticed a possible... Sorry, I'm being distracted. Is that a road connection? Oh, yes it is. That centralizes perfectly <laughs> with the official park. Yes, please. And then speaking of pedestrianizing the entire beach, actually, now seems like uh, a good point to do it. Although, having just remembered that, if we want the beach to be serviced by road, it is going to have to maintain a road connection, so we're going to need to move the service points. So, let's just have a little look at this. Let's pedestrianise all the roads in the beachfront. Um, at least the ones where there's cars. Like I said, I want to keep a little bit of the natural beach vibe going today. So, basically, any road that is dirt is not going to be upgraded to ped area. And then these can also become pedestrianised over here, too. Uh, yes, you want to be in the pedestrian zone, that's fine. Let's make sure we paint you out. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so now we get the warning that they don't have a road connection, which is correct. So what I'm thinking we can do is if we remove a little bit of this design up here. Okay, you know, it's all, especially when we get new DLC, this is a perfect opportunity to redesign you know, some of the infrastructure that you've got within your cities. So let's upgrade this into a road with tram tracks. Uh, probably up to there for right now should be okay. And then we're going to move the cargo service point up to this area. Make sure it's still included within it. And then we're also going to grab the small pedestrian service point. And then have this up here as well. This will need to be terraformed and decorated of course, which we will do. But I think as a general idea for keeping the area serviced, having the service points up here next to the tram line. And um, it should do as a job, I think. So we'll see. See how it turns out. Anyway, back to what I was wanting to do. <laughs> I was to actually include um, a little bit of high density residential. Or water wall residential. Uh, within the beachfront, almost as though they are sort of slightly more desirable beachfront condos. I've no idea how this is going to look, we will find out together. And of course, I'll have to be wary of noise pollution from the uh, tourism here, but we'll, we'll just keep our eye on it. So imagine getting to live on New Bjorks Beach. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, right? That would be very cool. Should we get a little nighttime look here with all the tourism assets on the on the waterfront now? We'll have a little chat together, shall we? A little little teaser, if you will. Yeah. There we go. Yes, look at the layers. How much do the layers make a difference to a pedestrian build as well, by the way? The silhouettes of the trees against the unique buildings here. Some tourism. Yes, please, everyone. And that wonderful centralization up to the skyline. <laughs> oh, yes. And I think I'm on board with the water wall condos appearing in the beachfront. A little bit of beachfront condo living. Quite Los Angeles, but it's a tropical build, so I guess it's appropriate, right? See those boats going past as well. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Super happy with that. So we've got a nice mix of uh, demands at the minute. So I'm thinking... Actually, we could continue to make this symmetrical, but I don't think we need to, to be totally honest. Um, Symmetry is not always required. So I think we'll do another little row up here. And then what I would like to happen is just to have... Oh, it probably should be knocked over by one more tile, right? That's going to make the most sense, I think, isn't it? Then we can place plazas here. Yeah, let's just do that. I'll just delete this road for right now. We'll worry about that in a second. Um, so let's place some plaza spaces, perhaps here, which I know gives us some very severe uh, terraforming junk, which we will try to blend in uh, with a little bit of zoning to face into this central square. So we'll see how it looks. Again, it's one of those builds that's going to look pretty horrendous before it starts to look good. But uh, we'll do our best here today. Playing with terrain, beaches and pedestrian roads is a brand new type of build <laughs> for me as well as you guys. So uh, we'll see what we can do. I can now notice an opportunities here where we can possibly squeeze in uh, some more of the larger rock formations. Uh, let's try and not use the same assets though if we can. But they're so overly big, they don't need to be this large. 
There we go. There is a sweet spot. <laughs> we will make it fit. Uh, and then some softening is always going to be welcome in some of these harsher uh, parts as well. It's smoothing out a little bit. Okay, and then some uh, delicate noobs kind forest I think would also be welcome. If not for a little bit more uh, tourism zoning required in these spaces. Not everywhere though. Okay, so now we've got this tourist residential beachfront developing as part of Noob Yoke's sort of area here. Alright, very cool. Uh, we can definitely afford more tourism here. Uh, so we deleted the buildings, we might as well bring them back in. Okay, but this is developing now. It just really wants a detail in time lapse, doesn't it? It's on its way. A nice and super happy walkable, which is what we love to see. Uh, so there's one more thing I'd like to look at. And this is the inclusion of a new unique. So we did have the sea life enclosure uh, included in this build last time, for which we could actually oh, very, very nearly squeeze it in there. That would be cool. But I think now we will move the beach life enclosure down on the walkable area. Because I'd like to sort of redevelop this space here using some of the new content creator pack stuff. So let's just tidy up a little bit of a space over here as well. So there's a new unique building that comes with the Seaside Resorts pack. Um, this is a fancy new pier. This one right here, I think, isn't it? Yes, it is. There we go. I'm thinking I'd like to position it so it sits centrally with the London Eye. And it looks like it'll go there. Is that something we're fond of? It's something I'm fond of, I think. Big old fancy pier. Oh, <laughs> if there's anything that deserves to be centralised, it is indeed the pier on New Yoke's beachfront, isn't it? However, guys, that does feel like a good place for a detailing time lapse. It's really just now tidying up the zoning uh, and then also just reworking the green cities uh, districts that we've lost over here, which are trying to rebuild themselves and now just need to be tidied up uh, against the new pier, which has just turned out so wonderfully. What a wonderful bit of centralization <laughs> is appreciated there. Uh, yeah, detail up all these, hide all of the nasty sort of cliff tearing that we get where we do and don't want it. And then indeed reinstate the road connections around the back of here so it's all sensible and sort of appropriate and nice, etc. And yeah, just generally tying the beach area. Detailing, new decals, again, taking inspiration from what we did uh, during the live stream. Again, another plug for this, please go check it out. It was so much fun. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed it. Let's watch everyone cross together. It's a busy one, this. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, happy little legs. Oh, happy little egg. There's only one of me. There we go. Best DLC, everyone. <laughs> Best DLC. Alright, but let's detail up uh, the walkable pedestrian beachfront for New York. And then we'll be right back.
guys. So let's have a detailing review of the pedestrian beachfront, shall we? Uh, so throughout this entire middle space where we did have some of that awkward terrain, I've decided that we should go with what I'm going to call these kind of like pampas grass installations that are still littered across the beach. And almost as a reminder that, you know, we are still on a beach here. You know, it's still kind of overgrown. There's longer, more natural grasses here. And then things have just been placed around it as it's grown up. So we're super happy with the vibe. I'm like really happy with the addition of the water wall residential within this little plaza space as well. Quite happy with that. Also dropped in some service assets like a community pool and another park, like a skate park, of course, alongside the volleyball or the beach ball court, whatever it's called. Beach volleyball court, is it? That's the one. This one here has the park in, which is a bit irritating, but oh well. Then same with this building as well. That one wants to be switched out for something that doesn't have parking on the front. But yes, we kind of bringing this around. Also redesigned the shape of the hangars on the airport because the terrain here was way too narrow between the final pathway. I just switched them around, gave it a new fence border alongside some new rock art as well. Uh, that just hides a little bit of the awkward terrain work, but still quite a nice blend of sort of airport to pedestrian area if you like. And it's uh, it's kind of unique, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, a lot of the airport nerds would come here. A lot of the plane spotters would come over and, you know, spot planes for lack of a better phrase. So yeah, they could do this here alongside the airport viewing platform that's up here. So uh, yeah, just a nice combination I think of airport fence and pedestrian road, which I don't think I've really seen yet, so quite nice. And then also a zoo souvenir shop out here too. Uh, and then further down on the waterfront we've introduced some prop detailing, uh, where we do have a little bench with a pergola over it against the key work. Um, I have actually hooked the keys in with a pathway. It's massively overkill to have that much walkability in one spot. And also a waste of two nodes, but we don't need to worry about nodes in this map. And it is nice to have walkability on both layers here as well. It does look quite nice. And yes, yeah, small statue detailing and a little bit of ice cream pilot action over here as well in the corner. Again, just lots of good little creative ways we can use our props now to add little benches to look out over the water. Like a really nice place to come and sit, you would imagine, if you lived in New York. And then, uh, you know, yeah, you can... Just sit really nicely at the front of the downtown. What a wonderful use of the beach space it's been. I'm really happy with this build and a style of build we haven't really ever tried before. So with that in mind too, just super fantastic. I also brought in some larger rock formations around the new pier, uh, which is quite nice. And this just sits like so wonderfully as well. Huge fan of the pier at this orientation. The stair. Yeah, super. Just made for it, wasn't it? <laughs> really made for it. So happy to include some of the new content creator assets in here too. And then also just curve the roads back up into the main plaza. Where we're getting almost quite a Venice Beach vibe down here now, right? When you're in amongst all the bars and the pubs and the clubs and stuff in the downtown. Like downtown LA behind. <laughs> and then like all the beachfront activity and just uh, you know looking up to all this infrastructure that sits around uh, New York. Yeah, what a wonderful little vanilla city it's turned into, right? And then just little bits of fencing to corner off some of the larger formations that you imagine would sort of be dangerous to climb on, so they sort of fence them off a little bit and blend it into the overall atmosphere. But it's been a really quite tremendous build. Then also there's more park assets over here too, carousels, a couple of souvenir shops too, and then some more uh, tourism as we come to a crossroads, uh, which heads back up into the pedestrian downtown area of the city. And yeah, just a really cute, happy beachfront that's just blended superbly well with the terrain and its surrounding builds. Whatever guys, that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments and shares below really do help me out. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave me one of those dislikes as well. Really happy with this build and it's really fun experimenting now with so many new designs and little districts using these new pedestrian areas. Uh, like I said at the start, please go check out the live stream VOD of the downtown's pedestrianisation. Uh, alongside the everything new in video if you're wondering what does come with the pack. Quick plug again for Instant Gaming, I am the partner, the link is down below. Uh, if you do use the link, it helps support the channel, so thank you very much. You can pick up super cheap codes for all your favourite games, uh, including plazas and promenades when it is in stock, because it keeps getting bought out, because it's super popular. <laughs> so keep your eye on it and get it when you can. Please do enjoy some cinematics, I will include some of the uh, live stream pedestrian area as well. But I will shut up, and I will leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.